today we are doing derivatives. If today you last with me one and a half hours and you are not swearing me, life will be good. But I have confidence. I have confidence no one will be swearing me because I'll start nicely. I'll st ah, how did I? Oh, yeah, let's start there. Okay, I, we, I started with the wrong slide. Let's start there. How are you feeling today before, before we get down to business? How are you feeling today? Great, good, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's get started. Not good at all. Kayleen, what's happening now? You will get us feeling warm and good, okay, okay, showing off. Oh, it's off because it's cold. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, feeling good. Guys, I don't know where you live. Some of us, we are freezing here. <laughs> How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Anastasia, how are you feeling there? How is it? It is very cold. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. It, the, 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 this lesson will warm you up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who else? Rubimbo, how are you feeling? I have to, yeah. Cold. It's cold. Mm. Mm. Kyle I, has a very good weather day. Should we all relocate? I think I think he will give us accommodation for the weekend. Okay. Hey. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, today I had to <laughs> I had to <laughs> actually I it's kind of a difficult subject, a difficult chapter, but not impossible. Not impossibly difficult. Okay, but we will get there. Lesecha is having good weather and is feeling happy with himself. Of course, <laughs> Limpopo is the best place to live. Where are you? I mean, Limpopo. Oh, Limpopo is to be specific. In the north of the country. Oh. Yebu. oh, some of us are suffering here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, okay, let's start with the open uh, case study. Let's start with this case study. You have been following news on Salam lately and they are rapid expansion. You are sure they will represent excellent results. Okay, you can read by yourself while I'm looking for something. And you are supposed to answer in the chat what would be your concern and number two, what would you do? Um, let's, the, oh, this one, this chapter, let's try to participate because it will help if you are participating because it will keep you engaged. Otherwise, if you miss one small thing, you might miss so much and you get confused in the process. We will, we, the intention is not to confuse you, but you might still be confused. <laughs> but, oh, maybe. When we finish, you are going to say, ah, I was just threatening us for no good reason. This thing is easy. Ah, that would be a very good outcome for me. Okay. In the chat, in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, in the chat, let's go for it. Let's go for it. While you are doing that, I have to paste this link here and wait there. Okay, not full screen theater mode because I'm going to share a video after this. Okay, theater mode. Okay, we are looking good. Okay, let's let's answer this question quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Today, last week, thank you very much. I managed to have my whiskey with my son, and we were telling stories. It was such a beautiful day on Saturday. Lesson went well, we got where we wanted to get, and we are sitting there with my son. Life was great. Please give me the same gift today. If we do options, we get to a point where we are doing options. Another whiskey day, I will sit up. My son is not here anymore, but it will be a great day. So one of the things you can do for me is to answer this question quickly, because this you can actually answer. 
let's go for it, let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for it quickly so that today, uh, okay, today I'm not showing my face. Let me, let me try to show my face. Maybe people will see the young man and they'll be encouraged. They will see this young man and they'll be very encouraged. Say, huh, we really wish we were that young. And I will say, I really understand. Okay. Okay. Oh, the young man is now being seen. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kunelo, I can see you're not typing anything. I can only see Lucia will start typing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The faster we move when we are starting like now, the quicker we, we then we can spend more time with difficult things. We can't be struggling with you have been following news on Salam lately, they are rapidly expanding, you are sure. In, on the other hand, you are receiving a large bonus, which is good. That will be deposited. Not the two pot money, but the, another large bonus because I don't think two is large enough. <laughs> Let's learn. Let's hope because if you participate, if you participate, it will help. Rubimbo, what's happening? I'm just saying that without even seeing whether she, I think she had saw a join, so I can just guess. Okay, let me look at my list here. My list here. Rubimbo is there. My Matsi is there, it's typing. Let's go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Lucia, Lucia, don't worry, you are. Something. You can't even type. You can actually unmute and say something if you are freezing. <laughs> if you are really freezing. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. While it's safe, everyone is typing. Let's go to see what people are saying. Okay. Let me move my my laptop like that. Kyle say, okay. So the question: What would be your concern? You are eager to invest in Salam shares before the pricing, but you won't give the funds available until you get. What would be your concern? Number one, that you miss the bus. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, we are not yet there. We are not yet there. Invest in a fund and buy fractions of shares. Okay. We are not there yet. <laughs> Let's say just the cousin would be being not being able to buy the lowest price. Yes, look for options. Oh, okay, not there yet. You are rushing us. Oh, people are actually far ahead. Lucia says buy options. Okay, not there yet. Blessing says to miss out. Borrow funds elsewhere. Yes, yes, yes. But it says concern will be missing out on the busy low price and I would borrow funds. Oh, okay. Kunelo, concern of being able to buy, borrow. Okay. You are brave, Kunelo. E, okay, Kelly no, says isn't freezing. No pillow, okay. I'm skipping someone. The concern would be not to be able to buy shares and missing out. Borrow funds to buy. You are brave. My concern would be that I would not be able to buy. Yes, possibly buy less than what I would uh, when I get my bonus. Ah, okay. Okay, then you can see you are loaded. You are already buying before you get your bonus. I can see you are loaded. And Rubimbo is typing. I think Rubimbo is also frozen there. Okay, so this, this is the concern which, which derivatives attempt to solve. But before before we I talk about derivatives, let me share something. A two-minute video I want to share with you. Let's share this two-minute video. Where is it? Share with sound, share screen number one. Okay, then we oh, now it's hiding. The, the, okay, here it is. Okay, let's go to start. Today we are going to learn about derivatives in finance. The best way to learn about derivatives is through an example. Let's take the case of a farmer who grows oranges and a juice company that is looking to buy fresh fruits to make its juices. The farmer can sell her oranges to the juice company and the juice company in turn will pay money to the farmer for the oranges. 
Now let's assume that the juice company requires 20. And in the trust is still slowing down. Let's see. What's happening to my internet? Three tons of oranges to make the yeah, juice. Check. Now, both the juice company and the farmer would want the price of oranges to be at a level where they can control their costs and hopefully can make a profit as well. Let's assume this price is a thousand dollars per ton. But we know that the price of oranges this will always keep and this will affect both the farmer and the juice company. If the price of oranges goes down, the juice company wouldn't want to buy the oranges from the farmer at $1,000 per ton. And in those situations where the price goes up, the farmer wouldn't want to sell her oranges to the juice company for $1,000 per ton. So how can the farmer and the juice company manage the uncertainty in prices? They can manage the uncertainty in prices by using a derivative. And I don't know, it's, it's... How they do this is very simple and the juice company will enter into a contract in which the farmer will agree to sell 20 tons of oranges to the juice company for a thousand dollars per ton at a future date of let's say the 15th of july the juice company for its part will also agree to buy 20 tons of oranges from the farmer for a thousand dollars per ton on the 15th of july both the farmer and the juice company will agree to sell and buy the oranges at the agreed upon price of $1,000 per ton on the 15th of July, irrespective of whatever the price of oranges is on that date. This contract is nothing but a derivative. A derivative contract that specifies the future price at which an item can or must be sold at a future date. In our example, the item was the quantity of oranges that the farmer wanted to sell and the juice company wanted wanted to buy. The future price was the price at the future date agreed between the farmer and the juice company for the quantity of oranges that they wanted to trade in. So there you have it, a short introduction to what a derivative in finance is. This, in our upcoming lessons, we will take a look at the different types of derivatives used in finance. This has been the longest two minutes I've ever had seen in my life. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it was doing whatever it was doing. I really don't know. I don't know. And then five by telling me 25, 25 up, 25 down for what? And it's slow. <laughs> okay. Now the question. Question, if a South African company earns revenue in both US dollars and euros, how might it reduce the impact of currency fluctuations? I, my camera is now off yeah, because probably it's choose, it's, it's, it also choose bandwidth. But uh, okay, we survived that video. But, <laughs> but we don't have a BRICS currency yet, Kyle. <laughs> oh, well, we are trading in your local currency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's the, I don't understand it very well. I haven't spent time with it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, ladies and gentlemen, let's go, let's go. We are preparing to start uh, be, to, to, before we jump into calculations and all those concepts. Let's do the easy ones. If a South African company earns revenue in both US dollars and euros, how might it reduce the impact of current fluctuations in its profits? Ladies and gents, ladies and gents, we have people who are voting B and others convert all currents to runs immediately. 
that's not a good idea because then you are exposed. Then you still want to buy foreign currencies because you are maybe remember you are trading in US dollars. Balance gains in one currency loses another. Okay, B actually is the correct answer. Lesecha, sorry, B is the correct answer. I'm voting with Lucia. No, it's not. It's correct. There's a new <laughs> system coming up, and it's going to change all of that. Okay, stop doing what the the brick system. Yes, with the brick system, you can trade in your own currency. That way, it reduces costs for everybody across the world. Now, and Americans stop giving everybody loans at hundred percent interest. But anyway, B is correct. By the way, with the current system. Okay, I don't want to talk about brick system because I don't understand. Not that it's wrong or right. I don't understand how it works. And it's always a good thing to say. So B is correct. B is correct. Yeah. I'm voting with Lucia. Even if anyone says I'm, Lucia is right, is always right. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, so what you are doing there is called hedging. Okay. So let's talk about a few important concepts in uh, uh, if you've seen uh, when we're talking about derivatives. Number one, derivatives are used for hedging. So what? So hedging is simply taking steps to minimize your risk for I you are hedging because you are saying okay if I don't have a degree it's likely that some, if I lose my job it's unlikely that I will find another without the degree. Maybe some of you, that's why I was studying. That's exactly why I was studying. I will tell you why I was studying. Because I wanted to be promoted. But no one was going to promote me without a degree. That was why I was studying. That's why, why I did my first degree. But I don't know what. But most of us, when you are studying, we are actually hedging to say that we don't know the future. So we are hedging against negative things to reduce the ad. So when you are hedging in finance, you are also worrying about losses. Speculation, you are buying financial assets in expectation of short-term price changes. You know the story where we're saying Sanlam is investing, is, is expanding rapidly, we're expecting the price to go up rapidly. Speculation is when you did what you did, well, that is to buy, to, to use your products to buy the shares because you're expecting the price to change. That's speculation. Short selling or shorting an asset is you're selling an asset which you don't own. So let's say Kayleen, being Kayleen, she has old mutual shares. She's holding on to old mutual shares. And Belinda one believes that the old mutual shares are going to reduce in price next week. What Belinda can do, instead of buying old mutual shares, because she's expecting the price to reduce, she can go to Kayleen and say, Kayleen, please let me your... your, your Mutual shares. Kaylin says, okay, as long as you're going to give me next month, I'm fine. Belinda takes the old mutual shares, sells them in the market for 100 rand. She holds the, she puts the money rand in her pocket. Next month, the price falls to 90 rand. She buys the same shares. She gives back to Kaylin. She takes back the 10 rand. She puts it in her pocket. Life is perfectly fine. So she has just shorted an asset. She has sold assets, a share which she doesn't own. But when you say you're in a low, you're long in an asset, we are just saying you are holding the asset or you are buying the asset. Okay. So what is a derivative? I think I think they already defined it for us. I don't have to define it. Derivatives, there's three types of derivatives. I don't have to go there. We are going to go there. Ah, that's a nice picture. Oh, I like that picture. Okay. <laughs> Futures and forwards. Slide number nine. Okay, we are doing fine. No one is crying yet. <laughs> okay, so a future is in agreement to buy or sell an asset at an agreed price in the future. At an agreed date. Okay, so let's give an example. Let's give a better explanation. So let's say Tando. Tando is a war. In Capitec shares. So, but she wants to realize 
the issue okay, no, not realize. Let's use the normal language. She wants to say, oh, hey, crap, take shares in December because she wants money for Christmas and for school. Now she is wild, Tando, Tando. This lady is Tando. Okay, let's, in case we are wondering Tando now. Okay, let me put my... So you see this lady, lady, okay, you see she's holding a cheek there, she's worried. I don't know where I got lost. Was I talking about when, we go, when I got lost? <laughs> Let me start sharing. Okay. Okay. Can... Okay. Oh, I was talking about Tando and Tumi. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Now I am on a, on a connection which I don't trust, on my cell phone connection. That's the one I don't trust. So let me put this one on the other one. E, let's go on the other one, connect the... I don't know why my fiber is misbehaving. Of all things, usually fiber should be the, be the best connection. Okay. Now I'm on the Vodacom in the internet. Okay. So I was talking about Tando. I was saying Tando is worried that the price will fall. Will fall. Okay, I want to give you a long explanation, which I gave before. To me, is expecting capital share prices to go up in December. So they can get, get, get into an agreement to say, okay, we are going to exchange capital shares at a specified price. That's the agreement. That agreement is the forward. And a future is similar. The only difference is... Uh, a future is exchange traded. So it, since it's exchange traded, then it's standardized. The price is standardized. The time is standardized. But a forward is an agreement. It's specific. That's the main difference. Okay, let's see. So to price, okay, <clears throat> okay, easy, ladies and gentlemen, don't panic. I can see some people are starting to panic. Yes, they are traded. On, yeah, then they are, yes, they are traded on the exchange, on the JSE. I can see Lesecha starting to panic. Don't panic, Lesecha. We are. This is an easy calculation. Okay, please. <laughs> okay, to price a future is easy, ladies and gentlemen. So let's have an example. A ten-month future contract is ended when the share price is hundred and the risk is ten percent. What is the future price? Easy hundred times one point ten to the power of ten over twelve. 10 over 12 is the number of months. So if it's in, it matures in six months, it's six over 12. If you ask me why 1.10, I'm going to cry. Okay, so please don't ask me that question. Okay, okay. I'll answer before crying. <laughs> it's, you are increasing this 100 by 10%. That's why I think 100 times 1.1. So the power of that, which gives you 108. 2665. That's the future price. Your question is this one. Okay. Like your question is that one. Okay. Too fast. Kellen, please just hold on. I'll bring the fire. I think I'll bring a gas stove. Not gas heat, I mean, not gas stuff. Anastasia, please post your answer in the chat. Oh, if you're stuck somewhere, let me know. I don't know why my internet is just misbehaving, but okay. While you are working very hard, ladies and gentlemen, while you are working, I'm not going to be encouraging you. Um, I want to check my internet speed there. I saw the lights were green, but it's not just misbehaving. Okay, let's see speed. Speed, internet speed, internet speed. 
I last checked the internet speed so long back when my internet was still slow. Okay, internet, 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 speed tests. Rimbo, where's your answer? You're waiting for my internet speed. Yes, <laughs> I'm oh, still calculating. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm looking for okay, a scientific sorry, sorry. calculator. <laughs> yeah, all of you. Okay, I thought you were still waiting for my. Okay. Testing downward. Blessing, I was waiting for my internet speed. Okay. You know what is it's telling me? I think that probably I see the problem. It's telling me 22 up and 22, 24 down. Actually, 24 up and 22 down. But I see the problem. It's saying the server is in Jobbik. So people in Jobbik are sabotaging me. Blessing, where is your answer? You know, one of the days, okay, ladies and gentlemen, you do the calculation. I don't want to tell you this the story. I don't want Matsi. Four decimal places. You see, Lucia doesn't care about your four decimal places, Kyle and Kaylin. We don't care about those four decimal places. We are brave people. <laughs> Blessing. That's a good, good excuse. The, the example you can't even see the example too. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the internet was the one which let you down. My internet. <laughs> okay. And Matty, what's your explanation? Tell us. Wow. What's stopping you? My internet still. You know, I always forget the four four digits thing. I yeah. And where is your where is your answer? You didn't propose your answer. Yeah, just keeping it yourself. I'm gonna 90. post it now. About did you okay? Did, did, did you post that? You post your answer. Let's see. You you are scared. We are going to we are going to say something. Ah, that person. I don't know why they call him a doctor when he makes so many mistakes. That answer is obviously wrong. Okay. Since it's wrong, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fix it. Because I forgot and left a 90 there. So I'm going to say equals to 1.15, 1.1. 115, 1.115. I did it this morning. That's why that, that's the reason why it's wrong. There's always a really good reason to the power of 0.5 times. Ah, okay. The power of 0.5, what's that? Is it back? Did, yeah, I was supposed to do it together. Well, I'm, I can do it secretly like I'm doing now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to, to Excel. I don't know why, why I'm trying something else when I already have a program which I know will work for me. Excel, what was the answer that should we proceed, please? Oh, the searcher is impatient. Please be patient. My answer is wrong there. People will say, okay, so it's 90 and 1.115 to the power of 0 0.5. Why 0 0.5, let's say, you want to proceed here in rushing? Equals to... Because six months is half of the year. That's, that's... Ah, yeah, six months is half of the year, which ah, is 0 0.5. Such a show. <laughs> One of these days I'll get into trouble. Okay. Make sure, let's say if you see me treat a woman like that, please give me a warning. Because that's what people get people into trouble. <laughs> okay. Now, now let's move on to the next thing. Now we are talking about what we call arbitrage. 
arbitrage is an ability to earn a riskless profit. Okay. This is the example of riskless, riskless profit. So you are walking down the streets of uh, Polokwane. Yes, Polokwane. They, of course, that's the essential, of course. Polokwane. Yeah, in Polokwane, you get to a net bank and you see you can buy US dollars for 16 rand 90. And then down the street, you see they are selling, FNB is selling the, the, the US dollar for 17 rand. You say, whoa, 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 before you do the ancestors, because the ancestors will slow you down. So you go buy from NetBank straight away, sell in FNB for 17 rand, you get make 10 cents. You go back, buy again, sell, buy, sell. But before you do all those things, let's say, please remember to phone me so that we can get rich together. Because this is called risk. Place profit. Polokwane <laughs> well, is so far from my field. <laughs> ah, so you are not going to get any riskless profit. No arbitrage, Kyle. But FNB is buying it at sixteen ninety and selling it at seventeen. So you're buying at sixteen ninety and then FNB is buying at sixteen ninety again. Yeah, but you can buy you you buy NetBank and then go and sell to FNB. Ah. Yeah, but you then buy. you made it the wrong way, no? No, but you are not buying from anything and doing doing that. Now you want to confuse me. That that I think that's your big plan. So you are buying from NetBank. It's sixteen nine ninety. Are we together there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then you go and sell for seventeen rand. You make a profit of ten cents. Okay. That's that's all you are doing. You are not going to go and buy from FNB and sell at NetBank because that's the, you are going to make a loss. So when you say buy and sell, it's me who's buying and selling, not FNB. No, 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 not FNB. You are going to buy the US dollars from NetBank, then go across the street and sell to FNB at seventeen rand. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, there is something which I didn't explain. Oh. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. When you, you remember, when you go to the bank, there is always a buy and sell price. This is what they call the buy and sell spread. So if you go, they will always sell to you at a price which is unfavorable. So if you want to go and sell your US dollars to a net bank, they are going to buy from you 1680. But if you want to buy the US dollars from net bank, they are going to buy at 1690. That's the spread. If you go to FNB, if you want to buy, yeah, they are going to sell you at 1690. If you want to sell them dollars, they are going to do it for at 17. So in the same bank, you can see this, they, they, are, they call it a spread. But this is not a spread. So you can buy from any bank and sell at uh, FNB. Okay, but the big concept, which I'm trying to say, is this is called arbitrage, which is the concept we are going to talk about now. When Now there are more calculations. So now we are now a question. Jake believes he had identify an arbitrage opportunity for a commodity with information given below. The spot price is 120. Spot price is the current market price. So when you see spot, current market price. Futures price, remember our futures price, which is the, you multiply by the risk-free, is 125. One year interest rate is 8%. So the theoretical futures price is equals to this 120 times 1 1.08 to the power of 1 versus 1 year, which is this, which gives you 129.60. Is there an arbitrage opportunity here? Then we say yes, because the futures price, which we calculated, is different from the futures price, which is advertised. Does it make sense? Kaylin. Does it with this my explanation making sense? Okay, Lynn, are you, I get are it. You, you I get partially it, but get it, but mm. okay, Kaylin is getting it. Belinda, is it making is my explanation making sense? Belinda. Um, not at all. <laughs> That's good. 
that's but I'll follow, I'll follow. No, 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 that's good. That's why I'm asking. Okay, so I'll explain, I'll try to explain again. So we are saying, remember, our finding the futures price is this formula. So we are saying spot price, which is this 120 times one plus interest, which is risk-free eight. So this is the calculation which we did there to the power of one because it's one year, which is equal to 129. Are we happy there to Belinda? Yes, we are. I'm, I'm. So now we are saying this 129 is different from this futures price, which is given here, 125. That's all we are saying. Okay. So we say, since there's a difference between 129 and 125, there is an arbitrage opportunity. That's all we are getting to. Let's say, does it make sense now? Yes, it does. Uh, yes, it does. Ruben, boy, is it making sense? Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. And everyone else, I'm assuming, is feasible. Okay, now your question, obviously, is this one. <laughs> so we are supposed to first calculate using this formula and then tell us because as long as this price, advertised price, is different from your answer, there is an arbitrage opportunity. So that's all we want to do at the moment. So your question is this one. Okay, I'll go on mute so that you can focus. <laughs> Kunelo is there an arbitrage opportunity? Kaylin is there an arbitrage opportunity? Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. There's someone I'm, I'm not never mentioning. Let's see. Nompilo, where is your answer there? Nompilo. Nompilo. Yes, Mazi, you can ask, can value be more? Yeah, the value can be more or less. And remember I said, as long as the prices are different, there is an arbitrage opportunity. I didn't say if it's lower or higher. If they are different, there is an arbitrage opportunity. Well, Kaylin, you were right now. You are you are following people who are, who are wrong. <laughs> you should always follow the, the crowd. <laughs> as long as the price is different, as long as they okay. So they, yes, there's that big trash opportunity. Yes. 2549.5, most all of you got it right. But as long as this price and this price are different, there is an arbitrage opportunity. So, but you employ different strategies based on the arbitrage. But as long as this price, this, the, the, the spot price and the calc your calculated price is different, there is an arbitrage opportunity, but you follow different approaches, which is the next thing we are going to do. Okay, Nompilo says she has a toothache. Oh, so, so, so sorry, Nompilo. Okay. Okay. Anyone who, okay, I think, okay, anyone, anyone, anyone who didn't get this 2549? Or who is still uh, living in the dark, going once? Anyone in the dark? So, yeah, so you short or buy, yeah, yeah, something like that, Kyle. So it depends. 
it depends on your answer to say, but there's, as long as this and these are different, there's an arbitrage opportunity. Okay. So they call it a cash okay. and carry. So even if the I price is not... lower. Yeah, even if the price is lower. So you see, if the price is greater than the futures price, we do it a cash and carry arbitrage. If it's the reverse, we do a, if, it, if the future is, is greater than the price, then you do reverse cash and carry. As long as they are different, there's arbitrage. In the dark. In the dark. And these days, there's no load shading. What's happening there? <laughs> you don't even listen to what I'm saying. Okay, Anastasia. So the the way we got here is let's remove that. We simply said equals to. Okay, if I make a mistake, whose mistake is this one? Spot price two five two thousand five hundred. This one times one point zero four because of the four percent zero four. We are going to raise it to the power of, in brackets, six over 12, six months over 12 months, which gave us 2549. So we said, we are saying, as long as this answer is different from there, there is an arbitrage opportunity. I will not give this explanation because it won't make sense. I will do the, we will just do say, an, ex, an example. Okay, so we are back to our, so how do you exploit the arbitrage opportunity? That's the, 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 the question. So this is the calculation which is, so Jake believes there's the identity and arbitrage, blah, 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 blah. So he did this 120 times 1 1.0, this is what we did, and go to 129.60. So 129.60 is greater than this 125. So there's an arbitrage opportunity. How does he how take advantage of the arbitrage opportunity? What he does is he and he buys the contract which is by this. Remember, the forward is an agreement to say you're going to sell me at this specific price. So he's going to buy the contract and hold it. And then he will short the asset. Remember the shorting I was talking about? He will borrow and sell the asset. So he will short the asset. So he will take the asset, this asset, and sell it. Why is he selling it? Because he knows that maturity, he is covered because he is a forward of 125. So when he sells it, he doesn't go and buy some, he doesn't go and he don't buy Savannah or whiskey or nothing. He will go and invest it at the interest rate, risk-free interest rate of 8%. So at maturity, what will happen is he will have 129.60 because he has gotten his 8% year, 12960. Then he will get to buy the same asset for 125 and give it back because remember he has borrowed and sold, he has shot the asset. So the profit is going to be the riskless profit. 12960 minus 125. 460. Now we can go to Polokwane now. Let's say, Chad, now we can go, we can leave your village and go to Polokwane. <laughs> because now this is possible. I'm open for questions. The shop is open for questions. Yes, Kaya. All right. So the in that second line where it says buy the future contract, borrow and sell the asset. Mm -hmm. How or why can you do both? Because you can always, it's, it's always, because remember, you don't have the asset. So you just, so, so you can go and buy it in the open market. If I buy a future contract, I'm betting yeah. that the price goes up, right? Yeah. And I own this asset. Am I correct? Okay. Yeah. Betting. Yeah. Yeah. Betting that yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you own the asset. Ah, no, 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 no. Future, you are not owning the asset, you are just owning the right to the price. Okay, so I'm owning the right to buy it in future. Then I'm shorting it, hoping to decrease its value so that when I buy it in future, it's for a lower price. Yes, more or less. And then when I own the asset the second time, I'll sell it at its price of 129.60, which we calculated earlier. But remember, you, you, you are short, you are short, remember, you're shorting, you're not buying to hold it. And it's not yours. 
but at some point I have to, if I buy short it, it, yeah, I have to buy it from the market again. And when I do, then it, I'm the owner. But you grieve it. Remember, if you short, you are buying, you are buying, you are borrowing and selling it. So it's not yours. So you are buying it back and giving it back. Okay, I see. But Let's then, enjoy. yeah. Okay, okay so, carry on, Kyle, so that you can finish. Sorry. So just the last thing then, after I've shorted it, where where's the money flowing to and from? So when you when you short it, you get the money and you invest it. In any investment vehicle, doesn't matter which, just mm -hmm. anyone. Okay, you in any investment vehicle, which will give you this guaranteed eight percent risk free. Okay, I think I got it. Thanks. Okay, so, so how do how do you generate a profit there? Because. I feel, I feel a bit confused about this this buying and and shorting. I yeah. actually feel a whole lot confused. How yeah, do you yeah, that's, profit why, that's why I said if you are not swearing me at the end of the lesson, yeah, well, I'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so so what's happening here? Remember, a future contract gives you a right to a price. So you are buying because we, we know that it maturity. Okay, the price should be 129, but the future price is currently 125. So you can actually go buy this right to a price, get this right to a price of 125, and then go sell this asset. When you get your 120, you can put it in an account which gives you 8%. So at maturity, you will have 129, but you can still buy the same asset at 125. So the difference 129 minus 125, 460 is in your pocket. Because you have this 129 from your investment. And 125 is the price you are going to buy the thing from the market and get a profit and give it back. Because remember, you have shot it. Let's say, Some Somehow I stay still. I still don't get it. Don't worry. Let's let's do it now. Okay. Any question before we before you because it's some of these things I think will click when you do a question. Okay. Let's let's show a quick. Okay. There we go. So I'm giving you an example here. The, then you can do you look at that and do your step by step here. I think some of the things will start to make a little bit of sense. So here you are supposed to first, first calculate. I think I'm expecting everyone to be able to calculate the theoretical price and post in the chat. And then look at the steps here and then just follow there. Or oh, if you have a question, you can post in the chat. But theoretical price, I'm, everyone, I think you should be able to. You should, at least you should calculate the theoretical price and post in the chat. And say yes, there's an arbitrage, and then you tell me what you are going to do to exploit the arbitrage. Is the next thing, but first post the price, the theoretical price. Looks like it's getting colder. Let me zip up and shut up. Stand there. Kunelo, where is your answer there? For the theoretical price, at least. So I'm still working it out. Okay, 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 okay. We move, move with speed. Okay. My mother is an impatient woman. My father is the most patient man. But <laughs> so I'm more like my mother. <laughs> okay.
Okay, how do you exploit the arbitrage? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before people start swearing me, you got the right answer. And the, 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 the steps are the same as the, the previous one. So you buy the future, theoretical price is there, option three, exploit the arbitrage, buy the future, and show the, 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 this thing, invest, and you get that. So reverse cash and sales support, invest proceeds, by future. This makes a bit more sense now. Yeah. Yeah. The more you do, the first time I saw it, it was also very confusing to me. Very confusing. I can actually tell you, ladies and gentlemen, derivatives, when I first saw them in my life, I was confused. Yes, Lesesha. Um, so how how could you deal with the opposite? If if for example the the future price turns out to be lower than than the, the, the one that is given. Oh you then <laughs> that one I want I don't know. I, I wasn't didn't want to do it because I thought everyone would be so uh, anxious. Because you do no, the, no, the, I, the opposite. I, I, the, the, the thought of not knowing it is make is giving me anxiety. So I'd like to know <laughs> how it how it, how do no, you do it's that? A, it's a shorter step. You then you I think you are going to you are supposed to loan the asset. All right. So you loan the asset, you hold the asset, and then you sell the future. So you just reverse what you are doing here. So you long the asset, you sell the thing, and then at maturity, you are going to be able to, to, to buy the asset at a lower price. Uh, to sell the, oh, no, 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 to sell the asset. Because if you are there, you will be able to sell the asset at a higher price and then get a profit. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to do that. Otherwise, the uh, people who okay, this is the right expression. Okay. Ladies, I hope Safe. no one blessing. I hope you are not Safe. like this. Me. Yes, Rubimbo. So you are saying that if the price is low, we're going to use the 100 instead of the 130. So our calculation will be 100 uh, multiplied by 1.06 to the power of 12. Over 12. Yeah, yeah but it That's doesn't work, it doesn't work neatly like that. But I didn't but go and look at it and then you I think I have an example. I have an example somewhere, but we are not doing it today. I don't I won't do it. I don't want to I will cause cause more confusion. Okay. Because I'm sure some of the, some people are like this now. Kunelo. This is this is Kunelo. I took a picture of Kunelo, which Wallace is just Kunelo. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, should we proceed? Should you are you not feeling like this? Yara. No. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> still awake. Still awake in the midst of cold France. Oh, okay, okay. Whew. Let's do something which is a little bit easy. Okay, not easy. Yeah, we are doing this is a little bit easier. Preliminary. So remember, we said a, a forward you are forced to exercise it at maturity. Okay. Now we have something called a put option. So a put option. So let's say remember, Tando, we said in December she's going to she's going to sell her as the things. The issues, the shares, not your things, but the shares. She's going to sell her shares because she was holding a a forward, but. But now she's saying the price of capital shares will fall because she's holding the capital shares. Remember, holding the capital shares. But what if it increases? 
which means if you are in a forward situation, you are forced to sell even if it's disadvantageous to you. So you say, no, no, I want a derivative which gives me a right to sell, but not an obligation. So that derivative is called a put option. A put option gives the holder the right, but no obligation. So come December, come December, if, if the price is favorable, she will sell. If the price is not favorable, she will not sell. That's the right. So let's assume tanned. Okay, I, I, let's let's assume here. What can I do? Let's what can I do? Okay, I, I know what I can do. Oh, 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 today is one of those rare days where I know what I'm doing. Okay. So let's say Tando says is so current price. Let's say it's a hundred rand. So she is worried that so in December, if the price is 105, she doesn't want to sell 800 rand. Because she can sell the same as the same share at 105. But if the price is 90, she wants to be able, a right to be able to sell 800 rand because at nine, she will make a profit if she does that. So that derivatives, which gives a right to sell at 100, if things are not going well, is called a put option. So we say a put option gives the holder the right, but not obligation, to sell an agreed price on a specific date. So Tando will only sell if it's advantageous to her. There is a spreadsheet which I have here. Which tries, which tries, which tries. Let's see, where is my spreadsheet? Uh, this one. There we go. But for the right, ladies and gentlemen, you need to pay a premium. So we say at maturity, so let's have this example. Strike price, the agreed price. Strike price is 105. So if, if at maturity is 100, strike price is 105. Okay, let's start with, with 90 here. Yeah. Can you see? If at maturity price is 90, Kumi will sell for 105 because remember she has the right, right? And you know what? She pays that premium. She has a profit of 10 rand. If at maturity is 110, and remember we copy these two, copy these two, copy these two. You see? She will only, she will not exercise because she can go into the market and sell at 110. So the loss is limited to five. The five is this premium, this thing we call the option premium. If price is 80, ladies and gentlemen, and our agreed price is there, we copy this two, we copy these two, and she is smiling, you can see smiling, she's making a, prof, a profit of 20 rand because she can sell at 105 because of the right but she can then she makes the eight, 105 minus 80 minus 5 gives you 20 what if the price is 104 what does she do she still sells ladies and gentlemen but you say, ah, but she still has a, a, a loss here. But the loss is better than the premium. So she will, the less is less. So this five rand is the is a cost. Okay. okay. So the decision, the two decisions you have to make, because we are going to look at questions. You know, you know me already that you are going to look at questions just now. The first decision is, uh, is she going to exercise a right? So in a put option, if the price is lower than the agreed, yes, always. But if the price is higher than the agreed, no, always. And then you calculate the profit. So if the price is higher, she won't, and the loss is because of the option premium. Ladies and gentlemen, too much talking. I agree. Let's do question one. Then we pause there. But if you are brave, you can do one, two, three. But if you get wrong, then it means you are going to get wrong three times.
why not wait for favorable conditions you <laughs> Kyle, why not? Because you are, you are holding a share already. Tumi is already holding the shares. So she can't wait. She doesn't want to make a loss in December. She's holding already the shares. Remember, for put options, we assume that you are holding the asset already. That's an easier way to, to, to first understand put options. She already has capital. She already has capital. She's worried that the price will fall. Okay, do question one and put in the chat. So first thing is, does she exercise yeah. the option, yes or no? Yes, let's say, were you saying that something? No, nothing. If you are not sure, ladies and gentlemen, that's why I'm here. First question, does she, question one, two question one, does she exercise the, the, the option, yes or no, then how much is the profit or loss? Okay, Kaylin posted, Lucia posted, Ruimbo, where are you? Blessing. Yes, 50 cents. <laughs> okay, Kyle, we are being brave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, that's good. <laughs> I just wanted to do the first one together, but okay, if you are brave, what can we do? <laughs> uh, maybe I'm now confused. I see people are posting four on option Y, question Y, and me, I got one. <laughs> okay, but the, the first decision is does she exercise? That's the thing which will guide you. Okay. Does he exercise? Question one, ladies and gentlemen. Question one. So she's holding a capital share. At maturity, the price is 20 rand. Does she exercise the option? No. She doesn't exercise the option. Because if she exercises the option, she only gets 17 rand 50 instead of the 20 rand. So since she didn't exercise the option, the cost, the loss is one hundred fifty. The the premium. Okay. Now we can do number two. So if you said yes, like Kyle, now we have to. Re I don't know whether you are right on number two. So first one, price. Spot price or market price is higher than the agreed price, so no loss is 150. Okay, question number two. Let's say you are not giving us any numbers, so you want to confuse us. Say, well, what answer are you and uh, what question are you answering there? Question two, yes. Blessing, I agree with you. Yes. Question two, Kyle, no. I'm a Kunelo. Question two, yes. Matsia is saying yes to what? Question two, yes. And now if you say yes, what is the profit or loss? Okay, Lucia, you can go to question number three. I'm not saying I'm agreeing with your answer, but I'm just saying, what else can you do? <laughs> Except going to question number three. Okay. I'm pre okay, eight past. Okay, the time is looking good. 
Ruvimbo says, yes, let's see. 1750 minus 14. 1750 minus 14 is 350. Oh, okay. Matsi, what question is that? What, what's your question there? You probably are doing so well, and, but you are not enabling, so we don't know whether to say well done or not. There's a person who is... Ah, Susie, when did you join us? I didn't see you. And there is... Nem, nem, uh, what? Nem, what? Nema Tsukirani. Yeah, I've never seen you post anything. Susie, I don't know what time you joined. I've never seen more. Oh, I came, you came late. Okay. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, we are good for time. Let's pull our spreadsheet nicely and let, let's make it stand nicely here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and okay, well, let's try to pull this thing from the side so that we have a, it can stand here. Oh, life can be more perfect. Today, I'm looking like I'm going to have so much whiskey. The only problem is I'm by myself. My son is not here. I can't be sitting here drinking with my daughters. What lesson am I teaching? That would be terrible. <laughs> huh? She will say when she's married, Ah, but my I was drinking with my dad every weekend. Woo! Woo! And that son-in-law is going to say, oh, I don't know how, what I made you into. Okay. He, he, then he has the exercise. Ex, uh, my spellings are, uh, are getting lost. Exercise. Then he, profit or loss. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think most of you are so question one, maturity at Capitec is 20, agreed price 17, option there, does he exercise? Question number one is no. What is the profit equals to? You don't have to calculate anything because he didn't exercise. So a loss is, let's, let's put a minus nicely behind there. A minus, that's the loss. Question two. Maturity is 14, agreed price is 17, land 50. Yes, then she exercises. Yes. So we can do a nice calculation. Equals to 17, land 50, minus 14, minus 1.5. Remember to, rem okay, two, right? Most of you got that one, right? Remember to always take account of the thing. Option three, maturity is 16. Of course, it's lower than the strike. So what are we going to do? Yes. We are going to exercise nice, nice, nice. We say e equals to 17 rand 50. The calculation is easy. 17 rand 50 minus 16 minus the premium and profit is zero. Break even. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on. Stupid Pambili. Move forward. Now we flip the coin. So the other type of option is called a call option. Call. So same concept, right, but not obligation. So we have our Tumi. She says, okay, remember Tumi wanted to, she, she doesn't own the capital asset. She doesn't own the capital share. Hopefully this will make, me, they will make this thing explanation easier. She doesn't own the capital shares. So she says, capitalist is going, doing great stuff, but the shares will rise, but mm, maybe they will not. So she wants a right to buy capital shares at her own advantage because a call option gives her the right, but not obligation, to buy at an agreed price. 
go back to our slide and do our poor example. Poor example. Poor example. If I can click there, okay, yes. So at maturity, let's say at maturity, remember agreed price. Agreed, let's say agreed price. Let's say agreed price is, I just say 100. So if at maturity, maturity one, If maturity is one or five, because she is clever, she will say the agreed price is 100 here. And I can sell the same share at 105. I will exercise my right. It's my legal right. Oh, the spelling, but it be to be useful if you have a right, but you spell right. Because I can exercise, get the shares for 100, get the 100 rand and sell in the market for 105 and then 105 minus 100 minus premium, which will make me profitable, such a happy girl. But if the price is 90 rand, if maturity price is 90 rand, 90 rand, if maturity is goes to 90, she says no, no exercise. And what's the loss? The loss is equals to the premium, which is what I'm trying to show here on the call option. So at maturity, if the price, see the strike price, remember the at strike price is the agreed price. The premium, five is just an example, ladies and gentlemen, it can be anything, the, 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 the option premium. This is a call option, a right to buy. A right, but not obligation. So right, but not obligation. So if it's 110, she will exercise and make a profit of five, nothing, zero, break even. If it's 115, what does Tumi do? Tumi will exercise and make a profit of five rand. If it's 130, what does Tumi do? Because it's above the strike price, she will exercise and make a profit of 20 rand. If it's 200, I'm trying to teach you another concept. What does she do? She will exercise and make a profit of 90 rand. But, but, but ladies and gentlemen, if it's one or four, she will not exercise. Now, I know, I know, I know Kyle is still thinking uh, that the spreadsheet will fail you. No, it won't fail me. <laughs> <laughs> because it's locked there. Even if it's 90, it will remain at five. Is my loss. <laughs> my expression doesn't fail me because my formula doesn't fail me. Because I have a formula here, which, which locks at five if it's below there. So there's an if function just for those people who are into Excel so much. Who swear by Excel? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your question. I might not say it. But you should know me by you should know me by now. <clears throat> That's my next career when I when I'm a little bit older. Now I'm 27. So when I'm in my 40s, I will go into music. You should know me by now. <clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen, those are your questions. Don't even listen to what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me remove this point that is the thing which, which prevents me from doing what I want to do on the other side. And post in the chat. If you have a question, ladies and gentlemen, actually, you can ask it because I'm here. I am here for you. And I'm just fiddling with this so that I can fit my spreadsheet on the other side. 18 past. Okay, let's do it quickly because there's one concept, one more concept I want to sh share today. One more concept about options. 
There's one picture which I, I will be so proud to share that picture. If you, are, if you start getting these answers right, that, that picture I'll share will make a lot of sense. I didn't say a photo, it's a picture. <laughs> okay, let's see if people are answering. Ah. Hmm. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Kaylin, you are correcting yourself. Okay. Mati, what's happening? So busy. Too busy, okay. I'm giving two, I think two minutes will be fine. I don't know why why you are saying research. Why are you saying no break even? You have to exercise to to because if you don't exercise, then you pay you just pay the premium. Break even, you still have to exercise. You can see Kaylin realized what she said. She 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 had a mistake and she said yes, she corrected it. Belinda, what's happening? I'm still following. Still following, um, sir. Okay. Susie, what's happening? Susie. You can't do two things. You come in late and then you ignore me. You ignore us. <laughs> I'm not ignoring you, sir. Oh, okay. I'm still trying. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. As long as you are not ignoring me, that's better. Anna, what's happening? Okay, one more minute, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, while you are doing that, let me prepare my spreadsheet. Oh, it's there already. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, such a nice spreadsheet. I'm going to just clear there. Oh, we are so ready. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. So question number one, ladies and gentlemen, is yes. Yes, why yes? Okay, let's see the pointer. Yeah, you can see the pointer there. Why yes? Because, because, because the price is above the strike. So you say yes. Then you, after saying yes, of course, then if you are saying yes, then you are going to do something. Then you say equals to 20 minus 17.5 minus 1.5 equals to 1.5. Might just say the profit. What profit? You are not. No, uh, how did you get your one hundred profit today? Did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake there? Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, I made a mistake. People were letting me make mistakes here. One rand. Okay, number two, ladies and gentlemen, number two, maturity fourteen. Blah, 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 strike. So, yeah, no. So, what is your loss? Minus 1.5. That's your loss. Question number three. Maturity 19, that's 17.50. Yes. 
break even. Okay, but we are not going to say break even. We are going to calculate equals to 19 minus 17.5 minus 1.5. Zero, ladies and gentlemen. Zero. Nothing. Any questions? Ask me a question. Sir? Yes. Any question? One question two. How did you get mm. the, the, the 150 again? Because you don't exercise the option. But you still have to remember, you even if you don't exercise the option, you still have to pay the premium, this one. Oh, okay. Anna, do you have a question for me? Anna, uh, no question for me? Punelo, do you have a question for me? No, not at this moment. Mm. I'm processed. Okay. Belinda. I say I think um I'm still okay. Yes, you're okay. No question. Susie. Mm -mm. Susie, do you have a question for me? No, not yet. I was just uh guessing about question two but then you 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 explain it i'm fine I'm fine okay ladies and gentlemen we have five minutes to go i want to just show you one last thing so now if you have a, an idea of what's happening now okay what we what we were doing okay now now so i'm so proud of myself now mm. now this will make sense i'm sure so we, we call it a payoff diagram a core payoff diagram so we say if the, we see the strike price. So this is the this is the price. So we say if price is increasing, so price increases, it hits the strike price. If any time it's above above the strike price, the loss reduces. So you can see here it's flat. It, it, it's the same because remember this is the option premium. Then when you get to the strike price, the loss reduces. Then you get to this break-even point, which we all calculated. Then as long as the price is increasing, your potential upside is increasing or your profit is increasing. This is the call option payoff diagram. I think if you look at it after, because there's so much information we share today. If you look at it after, if you know how to calculate what we do, what you already know what we're doing now, this makes sense. So anytime the price on a call is below the strike price, your loss is equal to the option premium. That option premium loss reduces the moment your strike, your spot price is above the strike price, reduces up to the break even, and then your profit, upside profit is unlimited. Next question is so what happens on a put option? On a put option, same story, but it flipped. So your loss is limited to the to the option price. Then when you get there, it reduces between the break even and the strike price up to the break even. But your profit increases as long as the price is reducing. But it's limited to when the price is zero, of course, then that's when you get your maximum price. So that's the potential upside. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I am really you a whiskey. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions before I go and uh, open my whiskey from the cupboard? Any questions? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, this I will just say.